Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Reviews. In this video, we are going to be looking at the subject of lumens, isolumens, light power of the projectors. I know if you decide to buy a projector, you come across this subject. How much power do you need from your projectors? What companies declare when they are trying to sell their projector models? And how you should be choosing the right model for you? Or what is that life and numbers even mean? So let's just start and dive into subject. The most important thing is the light output and the contrast. So basically contrast is something different, but everyone focused on the Anson Lumen and the Lumen. This is the power of your light source. So it's about the measurement, but it tells the same thing in a different way. So if I tell you the 2400 lumens, it is also 1000 Anson Lumen. Anselumen is an industry standard, so it's a fixed number. I will come to that subject in a minute. So you should be thinking about Anselumens as a real power volume. Just like in the speakers. In the speakers, if I tell you 1000 watt of PMPO, peak power output, it's, it might be meaning of a 100 real RMS power output. So just... Take a look at the numbers, 100 RMS of audio output or 1000 PMPO, which sounds stronger. So if you don't know what is what, so you'll be thinking the higher volume means higher power, which is basically saying here, if I tell you the 2400 lumens, you'll be thinking it's more powerful than the 1000 answer lumens. So you have to know these are the same thing, but the measurement style is different. But Ansel Lumens is what we're going to be looking out. So uh, this video is, by the way, from BenQ's YouTube channel. And I will put every video and source I can find on this topic. So if you want to learn deeper, you should be looking at the description below. Uh, you'll find videos. Also, the companies like BenQ, Vava, Viewsonic, Xkimi, and many brands out there, they're producing uh, projectors in a real powerful manner. If they are trusted their products, they teach this stuff because you have to understand if a quality brand declares Ansel Lumen and some other brand try to declare Lumen or Lux, Lux Tower and try to declare higher volume, you have to understand what they declare and how they declare it. You need to understand before the com making any comparison or choosing your projection. So if you're talking about only Lumen volume, higher volume, will be more powerful, that's okay. But lumen is a measurement of the total quantity of the visible light emitted by the source per unit of time. Per unit and time. So ANSI lumen and LED lumens all use lumen as its unit of measurement, but the variation is a different measuring method. Which means I can tell you the same thing, but directing an angle, and I will lead you to a way because I want you to understand is uh, this subject in a way. So if I want to, if I want you to think this uh, projector is more powerful, I can use lumen volume because it's higher. I can use lux volume or something else to make it feel like more powerful. But if I use ansel lumen with a small number, you'll think it's not strong enough. So if I will continue this video. One other thing is the industry standard. Uh, the American National Standard Institute, ANSI. So this is a institute. Uh, oh, this is a standard institute. How we measure the ANSI lumen, we are going to be focusing in this video. We have to divide the screen in nine exact pieces, and then we have to have a light measurement tool. We measure every nine point in the middle of them, and then. Overall, right now, when I talk about it, you'll see a formula of unseen lumen in the screen. In this formula, as you can see, 9-point lux light power will be added one to another. And then dividing to a 9 will get us an average lux volume of our screen. And then we have to multiply it by the screen size in square meters, which means unseen lumen is a number of fixed volume, like Anselumen will not be changing from our projector getting close or back. It's not a lux volume because 
if we get closer, our square meter size will shrink in this formula, as you see on the screen. If we get back, the light will get in the less on the screen, but it will be wider. So square meter number is going to high, but the lux volume average will be low. So it's about this. That way, it is a standard and we want to look for ansi lumen values instead of other values. That's why ansi lumen is important. And you'll be seeing my projector test later on in this channel, hopefully, by this method. One other thing, I will measure every nine point in the brightest white screen and then tell you, of course, in a perfect dark room, not like this. Because if I measure light here, the ambient light also uh, create some sort of a measurement error. So you need to be perfect in a dark room that directly calculate the projector volume. One other thing is the brightness and the contrast. Our eyes get fooled because the brightest of the five colors are close. Brightness of these colors are close. But human eye, for human eye, red seems one or two times brighter than the others. So if you can try this at your home, at your uh, monitor or TV, you'll get the same uh, idea and you understand it easily. You definitely feel red is more popped out. So the contrast is also creating an illusion of it's a stronger or brighter projector. So if you see deeper blacks because of your screen or if you see deeper blacks because of your projection, you'll think it's a brighter image, but it might not be bright because brightness measure okay. will be created, like calculated by the tools, not our eyes. If we see deeper blacks, we think it's brighter white, but it might not be. So we'll continue to this video. And as you can see, this is one of the most important parts. 1000 lead lumens, if we divide it 2.4 we get 417 ansi lumens volume. The ansi lumen volume is quite low. That's why many of the companies, if they are trying to impress you by their products, they, de they tend to declare, instead of ansi lumen values as a standard, they talk about lead lumens. And also there is a catch to this. I could also use a uh, different method to tell you that lead lumens and the source lumens, which means if I tell you from this screen, which is four and plus meters away from my projector, I can tell you a lumen power from here or here or very close to screen. Let me just tell you the numbers. Right now, this is 200 lux. And if I go 1.5 meters, I got 650 lux. And if I get closer to my projection, here I got 2,200, 2,400 lux, which means wherever I put this device, I can declare different numbers. Numbers will be higher on the projector side. Number, uh, numbers will be very lower on the screen size. In that example, when you made a table, which you will see on the screen, it's going to be uh, telling that uh, lead lumen is 120, and lumen is 50, and light source lumen is 830, which means it's more than 16 times of power we are talking about. From here, 200, closer to 1 meter, I got 2,600, which means it's 13 times, right? If I get closer to the projector, I will get 15, 16, 17 times much more brighter uh, volume. So, which one do I want to declare? It's up to me. Objective about the volume, you need to be talking about ANSI lumen volume instead of lead lumen or source lumen, green lumen, lux volume, whatever that is. But many of the companies choose to declare lumens, ANSI lumens, lead lumens, source lumens in a different way. That way you can't compare them in one place. Like if you check out from a one brand, they declare lumens and other brand declare ANSI lumens. How do you going to compare? How, how are you going to compare it, right? So the basic formula is this. If the brands are 
trusted and if they are declaring the value correctly, as lumen is 2.4 times divided than lead lumen power. So you have to be trusting reviewees and also the brands. So these happens most of the time with the cheaper projections. I'm not saying cheaper projectors, projections are bad. They are getting better and better every day. But there is a reason those projection, projectors are cheap. And there is a reason bigger and uh, more brighter projection, projectors and more contrasted projectors are expensive. There is a reason for everything. So if something is too cheap or too affordable, then you might want to think about the Lumen or Ansel Lumen or Lux value that they layer and try to figure out the real power output of that product. Just be careful before your purchase. And if this video was helpful, uh, please hit the thumbs button, thumbs up button and like the video if you haven't subscribed. And if this was the first video that you've seen so far in this channel, just visit, visit the other tutorials around the screen and your support will be important. Hope to see you in the next video. Just don't hurry before your projection purchase. And if you're going to be buying your first projector, you don't need to buy the most expensive one. And I will also put uh, in the end of the video, uh, it's another topic. It might be uh, for another video's total topic, but you'll see a screen uh, with numbers on it. If it's an open face uh, with a daylight, how much lumens or general lead lumens you need to have or answer lumen, or if it's a bright room, or if it's a dark room, if it's a blacked out room, so these type of things also affect your light power. Like you don't need too much of a power if you can create black out dark room or at least decent uh, small lighted room like this. If I close the light right now for the 10 to 20%, I can see where I walk and I don't need huge amount of power. But it also depends your screen, your projector, your lens and etc. There are a lot of variations, but this topic need to end and I don't want to keep the video too long. Hope to see you in the next video on Cinema and Tech Review. Bye from now.